guys, this is Jess with Radio Western, and today we're with United Supermarkets celebrating their 10th anniversary with a food festival. So there are around 25 food vendors selling amazing treats, and we have a lot of other activities like face painting and bouncy castles. So let's go check it out. So we're here with Carvey's Caterers, and what dish are you making today? Hey, I am Chef Soman. Uh, today I try to make uh, my traditional uh, Indian food. It's the best healthy food and one of the best healthy food in the world. And it's uh, make, made with lentil, rice and lentils. Uh, nothing any permanentization or nothing hard, but I one whole day soak it and grind it and fermentation, natural fermentation with the eight hours. And this is goes with potatoes and onion and uh, Indian spices. It's also, it's also I think good starch in and healthy food. Nice. And this is this is this a staple dish that you guys make? Yes, yes, it is. People love it. Love it. Wherever I go, same thing. Look at here, like this lineup anywhere, and people love it. Any kind of people can eat. It's mild and so healthy. So we're here with Bill, the town crier of London. You have something to say? Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're here with CHRW today. Awesome. So are you making balloon animals here today at the festival? I'm town crying and announcing uh, for the laugh guards and we're making balloon animals and face painting. Awesome, so what's the hardest balloon animal to make? Uh, the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower? You've made that? That's not an animal. That's 2,000 balloons took a whole day and me with uh, 20 of my friends. Wow, so what does the town crier of London do on a day-to-day -day basis? Rings the bell. I'll be leading the Santa Claus parade uh, on November the 9th so downtown and uh, lead parades, open festivals, and uh, do charity work. Awesome. So could you make me an Eiffel Tower right now? Is that possible? Well, as I said, <laughs> it's 2,000 balloons. That takes a long time. All right. So what about a dog? Is that possible? Dog is ready for you right here. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, guys. So I'm here with Herman from Reggae's Caribbean Restaurant. So what are you guys cooking up today? Okay. We have jerk chicken available right now, rice and peas. You know, a little bit of uh, mixed uh, vegetables. Awesome. So are you guys located in London? Yes, we are. We are at 1050 Kipps Lane. And what would be your staple dish, I guess? Is this one of them? This is one of them. So the jerk chicken is really popular? Jerk chicken is very popular. The jerk chicken, the fried chicken, the oxtail, the curry goat. Awesome. Well, everything sounds, it smells delicious. So I'm going to try and check it out. Hey guys, so I'm with Albert from Golden Nest, and what are you selling here today? Uh, actually, I'm selling um, my brand of jerky. Uh, it comes with pork, chicken, and beef. Awesome. So, is the pork one a little spicy? I heard it was a little spicy. Oh, actually, it comes in three different flavors. It comes in the honey uh, flavor, and also comes in teriyaki and the sriracha flavor. So, is the um, jerky available in United Supermarket? Uh, yes, it's uh, selling inside right now. Awesome. Yeah. So how long has this been around? Uh, the brand is around for about three and a half years, but I've been doing food business for almost 26. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. It's just a, a new invention for me. A new invention. So when did you, like, how did this inception come about for this snack? Um, actually, I, I kind of get bored of doing some other business. I still have the, all the other business, but once in a while I, I have an idea and I thought this Singapore style jerky uh, could do well in North America and I started about four years ago and and now it's available in Costco, Love Law, um, I think Metro and Sobe is coming up. Awesome, yeah. so it sounds like it's super popular and it's probably really delicious so we'll go try it. Awesome, thank okay. you. Thank you. So I'm here with Ray who is the other half of the Laugh Guards and we just spoke to the town crier earlier today. So Ray's an artist and what are you doing here today at the festival? I'm face painting everyone who wants to make a donation and uh, the money is going to a, a friend of mine who's having some health difficulties right now by the name of Gail and uh, I'm trying to uh, 
raise as much money for her and entertain the children and the adults who want to get their face decorated. Awesome. So have any adults wanted their face painted yet today? Uh, we've had a couple who've uh, come forward and uh, I have this uh, suspicion that someone holding a microphone right now would like to have their face painted. How could you guess? <laughs> of course I would. But I don't know if I want my full face painted. Is that usually what people get? Do kids usually get their full face painted by you? We, we can do a half a face, uh, like a lot of the girls uh, want uh, a butterfly or become a princess, so it's like a crown or, or some uh, cheek art or anything, we can do it. Awesome. So what's the most difficult thing you've ever had to paint on a face? <laughs> oh, the most difficult. I think uh, sometimes really simple things are very difficult to express. Right. And so um, we do a lot of animals and uh, uh, superheroes and things like that and uh, in a, a festival uh, the, the challenge is to do it as quickly as possible something that's really neat and that the kids are proud of and can run around and create play. Cool. So where can we see the Laugh Guards in London? We are uh, at the festivals you can see us downtown in Victoria Park or at the other um, festivals downtown uh, we range all over Ontario. Uh, if people want to give us a call or uh, uh, talk to us and set up a party, we can do it. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're very, very welcome. So I'm here with Todd and he's the event coordinator for today's festival. So I guess we've never really seen a supermarket have such a success with regards to food festivals. So can you talk a little bit about that? I think it's an exciting thing. I think London needs uh, an insurgence of new and fresh. And uh, United Food Mart supermarket has uh, decided rather than just celebrate a 10th anniversary of theirs, give back to the community and brought us in to coordinate a uh, full food festival, which we were really, really excited and motivated to do. Yeah, so how did the planning go for this? Like, there were so many food vendors that, did they reach out to you or did you call in members of the community to come here? Most of the food vendors that have got involved were already uh, uh, customers in one way or another with uh, the United Supermarket, so they came to support United. For their 10th anniversary. Absolutely. And so there were a lot of other events happening here, like face painting, fancy castles. So how did that go? Back? Well, you know, we were lucky because we got London's own town crier, Bill Paul, <laughs> to come and support the event. Uh, he brought the London Laugh Guards. So he's got his colleague, Ray, uh, who's doing the face painting, master face painter, does every event in a uh, major event in the summertime here. So, uh, I mean, we were very, very, very fortunate and he was excited to participate. Yeah, so have you ever seen an event like this at a supermarket before? This, in my opinion, has never happened in southwestern Ontario and hopefully United are paving the way and possibly motivating more of the uh, supermarkets to get more involved with the community and do this kind of an event. Awesome. So thanks so much for talking, Todd. Thank you. So that's all for today, guys. I've got my face paint, I got my hat, and we're ready to go. Thank you for tuning in to 94.9 Radio Western. Be sure to check out United Supermarket and Radio Western on Instagram. We see you guys soon.